Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we will be creating a quick uh, paintbrush logo reveal just like this. Okay, so this is a quick tutorial uh, and we're just we're gonna be revealing on um, a logo using, uh, I guess, splatter brushes or you can call them paint. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can pull these images off the internet or you can download uh, this project file and you'll have all the paint uh, splatters that I uh, pulled off in Photoshop using uh, the brush tool. So um, let's go ahead and get started with this thing. So we'll be going, going ahead and moving forward with uh, this composition. And the first thing I want to do is center the anchor points in all these paint uh, splatters. Uh, so things will be easier to uh, work with and we can animate around uh, the anchor points. So I'll go to the pan behind tool um, and you see the anchor points are right in the middle. But let's go ahead and put the anchor points like right in the center of all of these uh, splatters. So things will be a little bit easier to work with. And, you know, if you make a decision for a certain an animation, they'll be easy to, uh, you know, they'll animate around this point. So be right back. And so I'm going to go ahead and hide all these layers. And for our first one here, let's go ahead and maybe just rotate this thing like that. And let's move it down over here. And uh, let's go ahead and hit P on our keyboard, S on our keyboard while holding down shift. So we have position and scale. Uh, let's move to maybe 12 frames. Hit the uh, stopwatches for keyframes. And let's move this thing off the uh, uh, screen here and type in zero for scale move that forward maybe we'll move these keyframes forward a little bit so animation is a little bit longer and hit F9 and let's have some color to this one so we'll go up to effect generate fill and yeah, let's go ahead and just change it to whatever color you like and blue is okay with me and we'll go ahead and turn on six and let's copy the fill here so we don't have to continue to go up to effects and I'll paste it onto six and we'll change the color uh, to pink because you know pink is cool pink is for men okay and uh, let's hit s and p on our keyboard and let's just click a stopwatch move this forward in time and actually hold on a second let's see let's move let's move this right here and let's rotate it like that yeah just like that okay and uh perfect and then let's move these forward in time, these keyframes. Um, and then let's go ahead and just get this thing, you know, animating out here. And we'll hit zero on our keyboard. Let's go ahead and take our logo layer and put it on top of our uh, new splatter here and go to Luma Inverted Matte. So when this comes in, it'll reveal outside of our logo. Maybe we'll scale this up a little bit. And maybe we'll position this out on the kind of mess that one up okay yeah there we go so i just moved it over here now just I'm, I'm a little bit nitpicky and um yeah so now it'll just take the form outside of our duck anyway that's good let's turn on five let's paste our fill layer and uh let's go ahead and make it green maybe darker green and let's rotate this let's have it maybe come in from the bottom we we'll place it right there and hit S and P on our keyboard for scale and position we'll move these forward in time and uh, let's move this down and hit it in zero so now we just have a couple of splatters boom 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 and let's turn on four and this time let's see let's put this right over our logo layer for or at least majority of it and uh, let's go ahead and paste our fill and let's make it white all right and then uh, let's go ahead and go to um, effect transition linear wipe oh that's iris wipe Ooh, I missed it it's supposed to be a quick tutorial see I have the mic right in front of my face because uh, I am a noob okay so stopwatch uh, trans uh, transition completion and move that forward let's do 100 percent and then let's duplicate our logo layer and let's put the uh, logo layer underneath our or on top of our new splatter and let's set our track mat for our splatter image to luma mat so now we are filling in a little bit the uh, logo here maybe we want to make this a 
a tad bigger you know, just so we have so we know what we're filling in here all right that's okay and let's go ahead and move on to our next one which is three and this one uh, let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit let's put this one over here and paste the fill make it you know remember it being yellow and I think I kind of like that one being yellow I don't really know and uh, let's see boom boom coming in okay and then S and P on our keyboard uh, move those keyframes forward move it out zero and F9, the last two keyframes for easy as. All right. And now let's go ahead and turn on number uh, two here. And then let's see, let's go ahead and put this one uh, maybe right here. Okay, paste the fill. Let's make it red or whatever color that is. Red, pink, eh, magenta, I don't even know. Something like that. <laughs> All right. And then let's go ahead and let's duplicate our logo layer, uh, put it underneath our splatter image, and sorry, let's put it on top of our splatter image. I'm such a noob. And let's make it Luma inverted. So now this will go outside, and let me move it over so we can kind of see where the outline of our tip of our duck will be, which will be right there. Then hit S and P on our keyboard for scale and position, and let's move these forward and. Uh, See, let's have this come out like this, and zero, and F9, boom. All right, and now just a few more, and uh, this thing will really look good. So let's turn on uh, one, and let's set this to, um, let's put this one maybe like, I don't know. Let's put this one right, right over here. Let's paste this, uh, and let's set it to... No, I guess orange would not be a bad color. Let's go ahead and put this one right here. And let's do the keyframes once again. And we'll have this one come out from this side this time. And hit zero for scale and F9. And now we've done all the splatter images in this uh, comp. But let's go ahead and just duplicate a couple of these. Uh, I really don't care which ones. Let's do like seven. And let's bring this one to the top here. Actually, let's keep it at the bottom because we're going to put this one underneath and I need to just delete the uh, these properties and go ahead and put this right here okay and then do S&P and see we'll put this one all the way from over here zero on our keyboard F9 the last keyframes and it'll come from underneath okay and then uh, let's go ahead and just do one more. And let's go ahead and put this at the top. And let's just make this one black. And let's go ahead and duplicate our logo. Uh, put it on top and do uh, Luma matte. And let's, let's drop the opacity of this just by a little bit. And let's go ahead and put it, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and delete these. Um, and let's move this over here. All right, and let's move these forward in time. And here, let's put these up like this. And hit zero on our keyboard. And make these F9. All right, so now we're really messing around with our splatter images. And that looks all good. Okay, and to make our final logo reveal onto this, let's go ahead and duplicate four, put this at the top, and let's make it, oh, it is already white, that's great. And this was a good splatter image to work with, and I really liked it, so uh, let's go ahead and put it here, uh, maybe scale it up a little bit. And this will just give texture to our logo once we finally reveal it on. And I'll just duplicate the logo, put it here, um, and here. Put it underneath four and do uh, Luma matte. And let's turn our logo on. And let's see, let's go to four. And let's like, so scaled that one down. And I'll delete the transition. And then let's go to maybe like, 
two seconds, 12 frames, hit T on our keyboard for opacity on our logo layer. Move that forward in time. And let's bring that down to zero. And let's really stretch this one out over our animation. And hit F9. All right. So, you know, I really think that the uh, splatter images could be, uh, you know, expanded a little bit more. So what we'll do is we'll start setting up uh, controls. So let's go ahead and create a new uh, null layer. So going up to uh, layer, new, null object. And let's parent all of our splatter images to uh, the uh, null object. And then we can scale this up. And then we can create a new null layer or new null object and select all of our logo layers and parent that to this one and we can bring down the scale okay and let me create a new background and we'll call this one background and and now since we have more control over this we have to kind of like uh, fill this in here so what we'll do is I'll just duplicate seven and uh, go to position uh, and move this over here and then maybe we'll have it come in uh, from the top instead. So I'll bring it from over here. And maybe we'll move these keyframes just forward randomly somewhere. And I also forgot to bring over the scale. So make sure to bring over the scale as well if you did what I did and left a spot. So now our logo comes on just like that. And let's go ahead and create one more null object. And, and let's go ahead and parent uh, the two null objects here, and let me rename this to logo scale, and this one to uh, paint scale, and we'll parent these two null objects to null five, and call this one cam con cam scale or cam control camera control. All right, and we'll move forward here. We'll hit S and R on our keyboard. Bring up the keyframes. Let's move this forward to like maybe four seconds, and uh, let's go ahead and just add some rotation. Uh, and here, we'll maybe zoom, zoom out of it, so like that. And now we move forward in time. Now we have this camera control. So it's looking pretty good. And then make sure we turn on the uh, motion blur for our layers. Turn that on. And this is what we have after a render. Looks pretty good. Um, probably could have worked on the rotation a little bit, uh, but not really a big deal. And maybe could have added some text and continued out like a zoom out in the uh, cam control layer. So um, that's about it, but it looks pretty good. So guys, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please drop a like, it helps me out tremendously. Um, if you have any requests for tutorials, please drop down a comment. Or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And please check out my social networks in the description below. And guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you soon.